Good afternoon. If I were to say Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Barack Obama, or Malala Yousafzai, but I could also add Pope Francis Bergoglio, or even Al Capone, what would you think of? Well, I guess the title of my speech is a dead giveaway, but you're right. They are all immigrants. And I'm here today to wage that, similarly to them, all of us here today are either immigrants, sons or daughters of immigrants, have immigrants in our family, or at least potential future immigrants. But before I begin, what does the controversial term immigrant even mean? To me, an immigrant is none other than a person who moves to a country not native to them in order to stay temporarily or even settle for good. Well, the reasons why someone might move are manifold. Sometimes it's to find a job. Other times it's to avoid starvation or even death and repression. While the reasons might vary, they all have something very common and human that I think all of us can relate to. Humans always seek for something better, to improve one's life. But see, better is a relative and tricky concept. For some, better may mean moving to a place where they can find a job. For others, it may mean moving to a place where they can find a better paid job. For some, it could mean escaping starvation and death, while for others it might just be a matter of paying less taxes. See, all of these factors join in together to make the concept, well, relative. Listen, using the definition of immigrant that I just gave, that means that if you are not Italian and you live in Italy, you are an immigrant. If you are Italian, however, that means that your parents thought that an international education would give you better opportunities in the future to go to a foreign university or even have a job in a foreign country. Let's just say that makes you a potential future immigrant. Take me, for example. I'm one quarter American, and like every single American in this room, my ancestors were immigrants. After all, the United States was a country built by immigrants for immigrants, right? I'm also one half Italian, and again, like most Italians here probably, my ancestors left Italy at some point in time because of economic instability to find new and better opportunities. What you may not know, however, is that I'm also one quarter Venezuelan, a country that in the 1950s hosted my great-grandparents, along with millions of other Italians fleeing Italy. Nowadays, there's roughly 125,000 Italians remaining in Italy, with over 2 million of their children having dual nationality. If you've read the news lately, you know that Venezuela is in the midst of a horrible humanitarian and political crisis, one that's forced roughly 5 million of its citizens to escape its borders, including my family. The country with the greatest oil reserve in the world sees its children dying of starvation daily. But listen, when I say, when I talk about these families fleeing their country, I mean that some of them were exactly like our families. They spoke multiple languages, went to schools like ours, had great big families, had parents who were college graduates, and even traveled on holiday. But see, their reality soon changed, and for reasons completely out of their control. So I guess it's because it affected me personally that I've thought about it more than an average kid my age. And a question that is constantly coming up in my head is, do I believe in luck? Are they just simply unlucky? Do you believe in luck? I mean, how else could we explain the fact that we were born in our family rather than another one and live a life that kids around the world dream of having and yet we haven't done anything to deserve it? Is that what luck is? I mean, what have we done differently from the population of kids living in poverty and hunger today? The answer, at least for me, is absolutely nothing. I was just lucky. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we should feel guilty about being lucky. I mean, that would be hypocritical. It's not something we can control. However, I do believe that the fact that we were born in the lives we live means we were extremely privileged to begin with. And something that often escapes our minds is that with privilege comes responsibility. These responsibilities, for me at least, include taking advantage of the opportunities that were given to me, as well as helping out others who may have not been as lucky as me to begin with. As a human, I believe that if I were put in their shoes, I would be doing the exact same thing that they're doing today, looking for a new and better opportunity. Listen to this. Countries that today refuse to host immigrants were once in the category of countries where immigrants started their voyages. Examples of this can be Germany, 
Italy, Spain, Serbia, Croatia, the list goes on and on. Similarly, countries that today see their, con their population fleeing in millions were once the ideal location where immigrants could start their new ideal lives. Venezuela is a perfect example of this. Nowadays, nowadays, immigrants and refugees are often seen with resentment as the other people because they come from different cultures, have different problems, are desperate, and therefore at times even make us feel unsafe. While taking in absolutely everyone in need is impossible and would also be counterproductive because nobody has enough jobs or even space to host that many people, I don't think immigration should be a problem to the extent that it is today. If we acknowledge humanity as one and realize that as people, as humans, all of us are or could potentially become immigrants in the future and therefore act accordingly, then do I believe that we will have the beginning of a solution. Thank you.